All right, guys, this is going to be that long bomb play uh, that we use against uh, cover three um, and does a decent job against cover two um, from this I form slot flex. We're going to go up against cover three first. Uh, this is typically one of the zone coverages you're going to see to defend this formation because we do have strong runs. They're going to want that extra safety down in the box. So we're going to call PA draw shot. We're going to go up against cover three sky now you want to make sure you have enough field obviously in order to run this um too close to the end zone the post won't get open that's going to be our main read against cover three what you're going to do is you're going to streak this b receiver and motion this x receiver in now i will say you should never be abusing this play um, and using this a ton uh, because once they see that motion and they are, are in cover three, they're going to start to use the safety or just drop a linebacker back to cover that post route. So use this sparingly, uh, but this is a great way to score a quick touchdown against cover three if your opponent doesn't see it coming. You can leave the play action in. You don't have to. You'll notice that this X receiver just gets wide open. That's an inaccurate throw from Dak because we had pressure. Um, but I want to go ahead and look at the replay and talk about the concept itself and why it works. So this streak is twofold. It takes out, it forces this corner to not match up on that post, which sometimes they'll do um, in match coverage. Sometimes they'll do it in cover three uh, press. It also drives the safety back. The safety has to respect this streak route and he can't break down on this post route. Now the corner route, on the right side of the field, the tight end does a really good job at keeping Stefan Gilmore underneath. Because it's a deeper corner route, this corner has to somewhat respect this and play it, leaving this giant gap in this right third of the field. So we're going to run this again. We're actually going to complete this pass. I'm going to take this play action out. You just have to block the halfback for that. Now, what I will say, too, is you don't always have to block both of these guys. If you notice that the guy is dropping back a lot with his linebacker, he's a pretty good user, then just put like an option route or a curl route out there or something to where that linebacker has vacated that spot. What I mean by that is if he's using this linebacker and he's dropping back deep, then this little hole right here where he used to be will be open. But you don't have to do that. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and put this back on the D-line. I'm going to block my halfback. Look for your double teams. We've got a double team on the right. We can stay behind these two double teams, or that one double team, and then boom. That's a touchdown. That's not even a really super fast receiver. Gallup is pretty fast, but not that fast. That's going to work every single time against cover three, whether they pass commit, press, all that stuff, because the route combinations are there. Now, cover two. Cover two is a little bit of a tricky story, bombing deep, unless... You're going to go ahead and throw to um, the outside receiver on like the wide side of the field. So say we are like this on this right hash. You're going up against cover two. Just know that this is pretty much from any set. This is kind of just like any tip um, for, for any passing play. If you fade this outside receiver, he'll typically get this outside release and you can pass lead. Um, doesn't always pan out that way. Um, typically you would like to have a streak or a skinny post from the slot in order to make it a little bit more effective. Well, that's kind of a moot point. Let's go ahead and move this back inside. Just know that you do have the fade sometimes, especially if they are playing hard flats, uh, you will get the fade on the sideline. Uh, we got a baseline. <clears throat> All right. So... Basically with this, you can just leave this stock. You can put a hitch. If you get this type of look right here, you can put a hitch because it looks like a blitz. You can put a drag. Uh, I would never put an out route because that's pretty much going to be locked if it's cover two and they play hard flats. So hitch or drag. I prefer the drag. Snap of the ball. As X breaks over the middle of the field, that's the perfect animation. When they get that dive animation, you cannot interrupt it. So that's pretty much going to be cake every single time. What you can also do is I don't like streaking this B receiver. What I will do if I know it's cover two and I know that they're playing coverage, you can wheel the halfback like we have been doing for uh, a few of these other plays. 
and find your double teams. Once the safety, or once he gets in between those safeties, uh, you throw that ball and it'll pretty much be open. Um, I would not wait for the halfback wheel route to get open if there are cloud flats. If there's cloud flats, it takes way too long. You're gonna have to roll out. And by the time he clears this cloud flat, the safety will have recovered and gotten over here um, to make a break on the ball. That's why this is our main route. Pass lead that inside. You'll see that this other safety is now out wide defending this corner route. Um, they play really strangely in cover two with the, the uh, deep halves. So we're pretty much eliminating this whole side of the field from defending this deep middle. If they do drop, let's say they go cover two and they drop their mid read into a deep zone, which a lot of people do. Well, now we have our in route. Snap of the ball. Our in route. Ooh, that's brutal. Sometimes they'll man up on that. Let's go ahead and do that again one more time. This time we're going to wheel our halfback and not allow them to man up on that in. Boom, you have the in. It's pretty easy stuff. Like I said, these route concepts are pretty basic. Uh, all you have to do is get in the lab, check the timing, um, run it against different coverages, check the pass leads. There's nothing super fancy about this. It might look fancy by motioning the half back out, but all we're doing is turning a two receiver side, or two receivers on one side into three receivers. Trip sets are great this year. Um, we're using concepts of compression and spread uh, by motioning in this guy for the compression, uh, motioning out the halfback for the spread stuff. So it's really good against uh, pretty much all zone coverages. Now, the very last video, we're going to take a look at what to do against man coverage uh, because man coverage is really, really popular this year, and you have to be able to beat man if you're going to be successful passing the ball online.